You may be asking yourself, how is the proposed NAS settlement going to change you if you're considering buying or selling? A question that I often get um, over the recent months has been, what do you think of this? And you might be surprised about what I have to say on this topic. Um, I am Melissa Shaw. I have seen the real estate industry change so much over the 20 plus years I have been in the industry. And I've seen the 208 crash. I've seen gone through the COVID where houses were treated like toilet paper flying off the shelves. And I've seen a lot. And I can't say that I'm disappointed in this decision. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of statements roaming around out there. And I just want to explain to you why I'm I'm actually pleased for you on this this NA ruling, proposed ruling. You know, NA is going to meet in May um, to go over more of the details and start putting the plan into action um, of this to be proposed ruling coming. Um, they are seeing that it is actually going to go into effect and they're making steps and strategies to implement these steps um, already. And so the reasons I... I like it um, for the consumer is because when we were going through COVID, I felt like, not only felt like, but statistics showed that the skill level of our industry declined. It declined by experience um, of at least a year. And there wasn't, and no disrespect to my to my peers whatsoever, but there was not really a lot of skill involved in selling a home. I can say that for myself. I It is just a reality. There was not a lot of skill involved in selling a home. Homes were selling, rates were great, and homes were selling. There wasn't much that we had to do on the realtor's side to actually sell the home. Was it hard work? Absolutely, because if you're dealing with 20 offers versus one, and the, the psychology of all the people involved with that, there was, we were all running like chickens without heads. Um, but what I like about this ruling is it brings the industry standards up. It brings the industry standards up and it shows transparency between you as the consumer, the buyer and seller, buyers predominantly in this, this instance, and their agent that represents you. And I like it because us as professionals are uh, put in a position where we have to show you, the consumer, our worth, our value, what we bring to the table for you, what we're going to do for you to get you from start to finish across the finish line in purchasing a home or selling your home. And I like that because it was really placed in my heart back there in COVID that people were not getting the service that they deserved. And over a year ago, I started really implementing growth within myself and within my business um, because I wanted to bring the best to the marketplace for my clients. And so I can say I am really pleased um, with the ruling. I think it's going to bring about great changes for the industry and the professionalism in the industry, but also, the service to you as a consumer in your real estates and getting your needs met. You know, honestly, the commercial side of real estate has been doing this for quite some time. In Washington, um, there's already been buyer agency agreements that have been practices in place. Over the coming months, you're going to see some changes because there's going to be some changes that where you're conforming and having to change state laws in alignment with the NA, new NA guidelines of which we have to practice by. So if you're wanting to stay up to date on real estate market updates, um, I encourage you to follow, like, comment, subscribe, so you can keep updated 